So today, I am going to compare the two most fastest chipsets on the planet, the Snapdragon 8 Lite versus the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. And man, the difference between these two chipsets are like the iPhone 15 Pro Max versus the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I mean, there is only two to three percent difference in benchmarks. But friends, not in everything. I mean, the seat of the Snapdragon 8 Lite is just mind blowing. Whereas the GPU of the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 is the world's most fastest GPU in history. In terms of AI capabilities, the Snapdragon 8 Lite is just on another level, whereas the connectivity on the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 is far more better than the Snapdragon 8 Lite. So friends, you got the idea of how these two chipsets compete with one another. And you know, on paper, these two chipsets perform similarly in benchmarks. So every year, Qualcomm takes the crown for the fastest chipset in terms of N22 version 10. And you know, this year is no exception. The Snapdragon 8 Lite achieves a total score of 3,121,239 points, which is about three times faster than the MediaTek Dimensity and 400s 3,030,235 points. And this is just mind-blowing. Considering two different manufacturers have developed two different CPU and GPU clusters. We will get into that in a minute. But for now, let's break down these scores. The CPU of the Snapdragon 8 Lite achieved 704,263 points, while the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 CPU achieved 637,488 points, making the CPU of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Lite about 9.5 times faster. In terms of GPU scores, the Snapdragon 8 Lite GPU achieved 1,323,172 points, whereas the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 GPU achieved 1,365,865 points, making the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 GPU about 3.1 times faster than the Snapdragon 8 Lite. In terms of memory, the Snapdragon 8 Lite achieved 613,049 points, whereas the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 achieved 503,744 points, making it about 21.7 times faster. And lastly, the UX of the Snapdragon 8 Lite achieved 480,755 points, whereas the Dimensity 9400 achieved 523,140 points, making the MediaTek Dimensity UX about 9 times faster than the Snapdragon 8 Lite. But friends, the story changes entirely in Geekbench 6 benchmarks. In single core performance, the Snapdragon 8 Lite achieved 3,216 points, while the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 achieved 2,949 points, making the Snapdragon 8 Lite about 9 times faster than the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. In terms of multi-core performance, the Snapdragon 8 Lite achieved 10,132 points, whereas the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 achieved 9,297 points, making the Snapdragon 8 Lite about 7 times faster in multi-core scores. Now, keep in mind that these scores may vary. There are a lot of smartphones coming out with these two chipsets and each new smartphone will be configured with different RAM sizes and cooling system. So friends, if you find different score than what I've told you, don't assume that either of us is wrong. These two chipsets perform differently across various smartphones. So both of them offer top of the line Geekbench 6 benchmarks and that's because of their amazing CPU architecture. Well, both chipsets offer robust architectures with diverse core configuration. So the Snapdragon 8 Lite stands out by providing the fastest core configuration with two ultra fast core based on Orion Phoenix L cores clocked at an impressive 4.32 GHz and six additional ultra high performance cores based on Orion Phoenix M cores clock at 3.53 GHz. In contrast, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 features one ultra-fast core based on Cortex X925 clock at 3.63 GHz, three high-performance cores based on Cortex X4 clock at 3.3 GHz, and four performance cores based on Cortex s 2 g These key differences in core configuration and clock switch explain why the Snapdragon 8 Lite is supposed to excel in multi-threaded tasks. Zero clock at 2.4 GHz, thanks to its higher frequency and enhanced L2 cache of 24 MB, a notable advantage over the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 12 MB. Plus, both chipsets utilizes the latest ARM version 9.2-A instruction set in our manufactured using TSMC 3nm process node. So, that was the CPU aspect, but you know, the entire story changes when it comes to the GPU. If you recall earlier, the GPU scores of the Snapdragon 8 Lite were approximately three times slower than the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. Well, here is the reason why. The MediaTek Dimensity 9400 boosts the Mali G925 and Mortalis MB12 GPU from Walhall 5th Gen architecture. This GPU operates at a higher frequency of 
1612 megahertz. It has 128 shading units and 1536 total shaders. And it achieves about 4,952.1 gigaflops in GPU test. Now the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Lite features the Arduino 830 GPU from Arduino 800 architecture. This GPU offers two execution units, 1536 shading units, and 3072 total shaders. It operates at a frequency of 1100 MHz and achieves about 3379.2 gigaflops in GPU test. As you can see, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 has significantly fewer shaders than the Snapdragon 8 Lite's 3072 shaders, but the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 GPU achieved better scores in the Snapdragon 8 Lite, and that's because of the higher frequency of the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. However, these two GPUs are almost identical in gaming. And very soon, I will review smartphone featuring these two chipsets. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a review video like this one. Now, when it comes to RAM and storage, the Snapdragon 8 Lite and the Dimensity 9400 showcases impressive capabilities, but they utilize different RAM configuration. The 8 Lite utilizes the dual channel. 32-bit LPDDR5 XRAM with a memory frequency of 5300 MHz. On the other hand, the Dimensity 9400 also features LPDDR5 X but with quad-channel 16-bit RAM, operating at a slightly higher frequency of 5333 MHz. Both chips are using the same RAM size and storage, so there isn't much difference between these two when it comes to RAM and storage. But when it comes to AI capabilities, the Snapdragon 8 Lite and the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 each bring their own distinctive strengths. The Snapdragon 8 Lite, powered by Qualcomm's latest Hexagon NPU, boosts a 45% boost in AI performance compared to last year's 8 Gen 3, delivering robust multimodal Gen AI support that processes voices, texts, images, and camera input for a versatile and intuitive user experience. Plus, Qualcomm's Sensing Hub further enhances this by personalizing interaction adapt to the user preferences, creating a smooth, user-centric experience with LLMs, LMMS, and LVMS running its capabilities. On the other hand, the Mutatic Dimensity 9400 stands out with impressive agentic AI engine. It's the first of its kind, which supports on-device LoRa training and high-quality on-device video generation. This enables the creation of AI engines that can evolve with the user without needing cloud-based support. The Dimensity 9400 also integrates the diffusion transmitter for advanced image generation and supports cutting-edge generative models like Mixture of Experts MOE. The Dimensity 9400 is ideal for users seeking quick, responsive AI interaction and creative potential. So as you saw, both chipsets offer their own AI engines. But I find the AI of the Snapdragon 8 Lite to be more useful. Now, when it comes to AI for imaging, the Snapdragon 8 Lite and the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 delivers impressive capabilities tailored for different creative needs. And if you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel will be priceless. So the Snapdragon 8 Lite sits high standard with its hexagon-powered AI ISP and limitless segmentation which break down images into 250 layers. This enables advanced features like AI-based pet capture for crystal clear images of moving subjects and real-time inside AI for perfecting skies and skin tones. The Snapdragon 8 Lite also features a video object eraser to remove unwanted elements from footage. And it has this advanced new version of TruePic to authenticate media even in videos. For creators like me pushing the limits, this chipset offers seamless 4K 60fps video capture in ultra low light with multi-frame AI noise reduction. You can now capture videos at 8K at 60 frames per second. On the other side, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 with its image IQ1090 AI ISP shines in zoom and efficiency. Its generative AI super zoom can achieve 100x magnification with remarkable clarity, as seen in the Vivo X200 Pro. This chipset is also capable of recording 8K at 60 frames per second. Additionally, the 9400 provides AI-driven super resolution feature for refined high-detail images. Now, if you ask me, I am 100% sure in terms of camera capabilities, the Snapdragon 8 Lite is a clear winner. Plus, these two chips offer the same display capabilities. So as you can see, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 is a bit better in terms of display capabilities. But it's so much similar to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Lite. Now, when comparing the connectivity capabilities of the Snapdragon 8 Lite and the MediaTek Dimensity 9400, the Snapdragon 8 Lite integrates the Qualcomm X80 5G modem RF system 
which delivers up to 10 Gbps speeds. It supports Wi-Fi 7 with speeds of up to 5.8 Gbps and includes dual Bluetooth antennas for robust connections. With its Qualcomm Fast Connect 7900 system, its Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and UWB are based on 6 nanometer chipset. On the other hand, the MediaTek Dimension 2400 features an equally impressive 3 GBP release 17 modem with up to 7 GBPS. It supports Wi Fi 7 with tri band concurrency, unlike competitors limited to dual band, delivering faster and more flexible connectivity. Its extra length 3.0 feature offers extended Wi Fi coverage of up to 30 meters. And with phone to phone direct Bluetooth links, it supports connection of up to 1.5 kilometers apart. Additionally, its Wi Fi and Bluetooth chip is based on 4 nanometer process meaning it will be a lot more efficient compared to the Snapdragon 8 Lite. So if I have to pick a winner, then I will give the crown to the MediaTek Dimensity and 400 connectivity features. So friends, that just brings me to my final verdict. These two chipsets share so many similarities, but the Snapdragon 8 Lite takes the lead as the world's fastest chipset. Now the final question remains, should we go for the Snapdragon 8 Lite smartphone or the MediaTek Dimensity and 400 smartphone? To answer that, we need to consider several factors. First of all, let's talk about the cooling system. If a smartphone has a superior cooling system, it may not matter whether it's powered by the Snapdragon 8 Lite or the Dimensity 9400, as the effective cooling system can enhance performance regardless of the chipset. Next, we have to look at the specs and price. If a smartphone has top-of-the-line features, both chipset will perform similarly. However, if you have two different smartphones with identical specs, then the Snapdragon 8 Lite will undoubtedly deliver faster performance compared to the MediaTek Dimensity 2400. So I hope that clarifies things. So friends, that's all for this comparison. I hope this comparison solved so many of your questions. And if it did, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a review video like this one. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section. So my name is Hamza. This is Hedgetech and see you in the next video. So if you want to watch the full review of the MediaTek Dimensity 9400, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the Snapdragon 8 Lite, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.